All right, chip of the day. Everybody loves chip of the day. We have a special one now. Remember there are one N, like a one N 4,000, a one N 914. Uh, one Ns are uh, diodes. Now there's two N 3904, 3906, two N 2222 A. Anyway, twos are um, transistors. This is a four. This is a four N 29, four. Uh, I think fours, all fours are reserved for optocouplers. So these are optocouplers, op opto isolators, um, whatever you want to call them. These are from Motorola, 1984. So these are vintage, 1984. Nice. Got a whole bunch of them uh, out of Mike's box. And uh, let's take a look at the data sheet. All right, we have a six pin dip opto isolator Darlington output. Uh, there's a family here, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. So it's the uh, youngest child of the, uh, of the family here. Uh, let's see, there's an A version as well. Uh, yeah, so I think these are zippier in Darlington-ness. Um, Reverse voltage, three volts, forward voltage, 60 milliamps. That's, this is for the LED, okay? So the LED, you can put as much as 60 milliamps into him. Uh, power dissipation, 120 milliwatts. So you can drive the heck out of the little, the little LED if you want. Uh, collector emitter voltage, 30 volts for the transistor. Um, and 150 milliamps current. You can see the Darlington, and they bring out the base to pin six, so we'll, we'll play with that later. Uh, the isolation from one side to the other is 7500 volts AC. Isolation surge voltage, interesting. Hmm. And what else we got? I've uh, got a bunch of other stuff. We don't care. 1.3 volt. Uh, for the LED, yada, yada, yada. Um, let's see here. What is the uh, saturation voltage? Uh, breakdown voltage. What saturation? I don't see saturation. Anyway, uh, some graphs. Graphs are always cool. Forward voltage versus forward current. That's the diode turning on. And so you can operate it in here, some of the tens of milliamps if you'd like, or you can do it with LED input current in the one, one digit uh, things. Here's the collector current with different milliamps. Uh, collector current, collector emitter. This is the VSAT, I guess. Collector current. Collector emitter voltage, yeah, so. Um, and then this is IF, so this is for the LED. So if the LED is on at five milliamps, you can get like 80 milliamps out of the Darlington. Yada, yada, yada. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> Switching time for input currents of uh, one digit, so you have them somewhere in the neighborhood of tens of microseconds of turn on time, not the speediest of devices. Um, LED input current versus time. This is switch off time, switch on time. So it turns on faster than it turns off. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. So let's hook one up. Uh, we're going to need a uh, resistor here, and then we'll hook it up like that. I'm going to be using a uh, one, 1K resistor there, and a, oh, I'm going to use a 1K resistor there. Why not? All right. So let's, uh, let's go turn it on. 
All right, I have some uh, signals going in and out. And we'll take a look over here. Let me adjust the brightness of my scope. And grid, there we go. All right. Oops. Come on, close. There we go. All right, so we have um, the top waveforms going in, the bottom waveforms coming out. So when it turns on, the transistor turns on. So this is this drives the LED on, and this this the, the two transistors, the Darlingtons, will pull it down to ground. And then when it lets loose, there's no more light. It kind of comes up slowly, um, and uh, so that's that is interesting. So I was playing around with it, and uh, remember that pin six has the emitter coming out, I mean, the uh, the base coming out as well. You have a photo base, but it also has an electrical base that comes out. And if I put a 10K pull up, or pull down on the base, yeah, I want to turn it off quicker. So I'm going to pull down to ground, pin six, and I get, oops, I can kind of hold it there. There we go. We get a nicer, a nicer looking display. So I kind of like this. Now the turn on time is a little slower because you have to overdrive that uh, 10K. But overall, I like this. I like this waveform better. Now it's not going to go terribly fast here. Let's go to the wave generator, uh, and we'll go to frequency, and I'll turn it up here. Yeah, see, it's crudding out at about three kilohertz here. If I take this off, it will go a little bit faster. But yeah, this is a, you know, this is only five kilohertz. So this is a very slow part. I do like it for low for low low frequency stuff, though. I do like holding that base uh, low with a one k resistor. So that looks that looks pretty nice. You know, it looks. Looks nice and uniform. All right, so I took one of the devices to see if I could open it up. And uh, interestingly, there's a little plastic package inside the plastic package um, that's a little bit translucent, but it's not, I couldn't disassemble it any further. Um, it just kept, <laughs> just kept flying apart on me. But uh, yeah, it's interesting that they had kind of a little different translucent, I guess, to get the, photons from one side to the other. It's not clear, but I'm sure enough enough passes between the two. It's probably a real thin layer between the two sides. All right, let's see if we can't put it on the curve tracer. And let's see if we can't, can't do that. Let me bend, bend the lead so they're straight. All right. So we are going to have um, emitter is going to be, let's see here, where's the schematic? All right, so let's see here. We're going to have the base. Base is green. Base is going to go to the LED. And emitter, emitter will go to pin four. Collector will go to pin five. And then we need a little wire that jumpers across. To, uh, I have a little wire laying about. About. I still have a wire laying about here somewhere. Uh, da, 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 da. Well, let me make one. All right, so the emitter will be our ground, and we will connect that to the LED over here. So that will be able to turn it on. Yeah, there we go. Let's uh, let's put this on the um, on the curve tracer. All 
All right, so uh, we're getting something that looks like a uh, something that looks like a uh, transistor here. Yeah, that looks kind of like a wiggly transistor. All right. Um, let's see. This is two volts per. Let's do one volt per. There we go. So ten volts out of that away. We have we have two. That's uh, full scale is ten volts. This way is two milliamps. So two, four, six, eight, eight milliamps at the top. We're driving it with one milliamp steps. So one milliamp, two milliamps, three milliamps of uh, LED current. We turn up the LED current. It goes up. Oh, did you see it start to wiggle? Um, when I go up and drive current, you can see the top is starting to move up a little bit. So it is heating up just a tiny bit. Tiny bit. I can add more, uh, I can add more of these. Yeah, see if I if I go here and I move it across, it goes, whoa, it starts to get hot. There it goes, yeah, a little bit, just a tiny bit. So that's, uh, we're still at one, two milliamps per step. Two, four, six, eight, ten milliamps at the top. Anyway, looks like a, looks like an optocoupler to me, you know, between the, the input, the base, and the output is a big gap. It goes, it goes to photons and then back again. All right, there you go. Chip of the day was a 4N29.